The use of controlled fire is one way Prince Albert National Park is improving fescue meadows to reconnect grasslands, bison, and people. On the west side of the park, the free-roaming Sturgeon River Plains bison rely on this diminishing habitat. In Prince Albert National Park, wildfire is one of the main ecological disturbances within the, uh, within the landscape. Over the last 70, 80 years, we've been suppressing fire on this landscape and we found that it's changed the landscape to the point where we now realize that fire is a very important mechanism to help renew forest uh, landscape and to also open up areas such as grasslands and keep those areas free from forest encroachment. Prescribed fires being conducted in Prince Albert National Park contribute to maintaining a diversity of habitat for wildlife like wild plains bison. There are a few steps to creating a prescribed fire. Step one, planning. Prescribed fires are only lit after an intensive planning period that includes peer review of fire plans by other fire management specialists, as well as public consultations. Step two, black lining. A black line is a 10 to 20 meter wide guard that goes around the burn unit and is created by burning the ground and standing vegetation. Black lining is a control feature that is carried out in either early spring or late fall. This is a period where the fire crew has the most control over burning conditions. Step 3. Ignition. Parks Canada has a variety of methods for igniting prescribed fires, like the handheld drip torch, the flamethrowing like terra torch, and an aerial ignition device mounted to a helicopter that drops chemical filled ping pong balls that ignite shortly after landing on the ground. The main unit fire usually takes place in spring, when the fire will carry through to the targeted vegetation, but only when all the weather parameters are just right, particularly the wind. Watchstrom's Flats and Sugar Creek prescribed fires were approximately 2,000 hectares in total. At all times, safety for firefighters, visitors, and infrastructure are always the priority. Fire crew members are ready to attack any fire that escapes a black line again mostly by helicopters with water buckets and ground crews using pumps from rivers, water backpacks and hand tools. The final step, repetition. Trembling aspen are hardy trees that send suckers underground in an effort to expand their claim on grasslands. Because of their resilience, prescribed fires need to be repeated every one to three years in the same area to increase the extent of the grasslands. The Prince Albert National Park Fire Management Program has successfully carried out more than 25 prescribed fires since 2002. This supports Parks Canada's commitment to improving the ecological health in national parks for present and future generations. No more grass.